we're finally back to work on this motor. Uh, sorry it's been so long. If you missed part one, we basically started with a blank block that we got from uh, Russ at Bishop Buell Racing Engines. Uh, he did all the machine work, provided us with all the parts to put inside it. Uh, we got the pistons and rods all assembled, got the crank in, got the rods and pistons in the motor, and that's pretty much where we finished up last time. And that was longer ago than I want to admit. But uh, hopefully, we're hoping today to get this thing all put back together, so follow along. Um, unfortunately, Mark isn't here with us today, which is kind of a bummer. He was really helpful last time, but we do have Cal, so hopefully he won't screw anything up. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Oh, Ooh. that's gooey. It, it came out faster than I expected. Just, you know. That's what she said. I know. <laughs> Always. Oh, that's oh. messy. <laughs> oh, it's messy. <laughs> <laughs> also, what she said. Alright, that's the whole thing. Chassis helped that out. Tastes like peanut butter. Oh, we're making a mess. Oh, oh, no, don't, don't make that. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which ends which? Uh, the cam gear is more than halfway in the center, and it goes here, so. Which end is closer to the cam gear? The two ends look different. This is the front. Okay. Source. And get your finger in there. What she said. Bad that she thought it was your finger. I think she's home. So how do we line this thing up? There's a zero here and a dot here and we want them aligned. So it's the zero on the crank? Zero on this pulley, it's actually right there. Um, so we'll have to turn the crank. But. Alright, so we just ran into a new problem that apparently had not been found yet. This might be actually the first time that these particular connecting rods have been used in a Renix engine. If you see that little lump there on the inside of the block, it's only on number three cylinder. Our connecting rod just barely hits it. So we've got our motor all covered and tented and sealed up as best we can with our fancy cardboard divider. And I'm going to take my porting tool and do a little grinding and get us the clearance we need. 
hopefully without making a big mess inside the engine. Well, that went actually much better than I expected. We uh, tented it all up. I got my little die grinder in there. Machine that little lump down just, just enough. It clears. There's a, we were told by Russ that we needed at least 50 thousandths clearance. We've definitely got that now. And we didn't punch any holes in the block either. So I think we are now good to go and continue assembling this thing. Didn't even make a mess. I haven't even cleaned up in there yet. Hello. So we are now getting ready to install our lifters. So I'm lubing them up because you can never have too much lube. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy magnet. As a handle. Drop her down in there. And there it is. Next. All right, so we finally got our cylinder head on the engine. I've got all the head bolts. They're all in, they're all just finger tight. We went ahead and put some oil on all the threads and underneath the heads, all the bolts, except for this one here, that it's number 11 in the sequence. That one, we actually put sealant on the threads because it actually goes through a water jacket and you don't want to have a water leak there, real pain. Now, the reason we got this printout is to tell us the order that you torque all the bolts in. It's really important that you torque everything in sequence, and it also goes in stages. Uh, if I remember correct, it's 20, 22 pounds, 45. and then 45, 110. and 110. You step up, do them all in sequence, do a full round, do another round, another round, then you're done. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're now at the end of day two, which is really only a half day. We only worked about three and a half, four hours today. But we came to another stopping point just because we don't have all the parts to finish the motor. Um, 
This is a kit, it is kind of assuming that you're gonna reuse a lot of the parts from your old motor. And I do have a motor there in the old lab rat there, but I really wanna build this motor all fresh with all new parts. And though I could go and pull rocker arms and push rods and valve cover and things like that off of that engine, I feel like I, I just rather use new parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those up and we're gonna come back and we'll finish this one in part three. Uh, hopefully it won't be another two months before we get to part three because I'd like to have this thing going into the lab rat by Christmas. Um, anyway, that's it for today. We got the head on, we got the lifters in, the cams in, put all our freeze plugs in. You know, we're really not far off from, uh, from having this thing done. And honestly, if we had all the parts, we probably would have it done today. Um, but that's okay, side project, we'll get around to it. Woof. <laughs> Come here. Come here.